almost had a heart attack over defund the police. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit yesterday. But, um... Yeah, like... Jank and Anna have, like, the worst possible take on that. Like, even imaginable. I mean, like... And, and that's the thing. It's so weird to me. Right? Like, because, like, on policy, they probably agree with everything on the policy. Jank is not right in any capacity. He's a fool. And so are you if you think he's right. Like, the policy, they probably agree with most, if not all, of what abolitionists and defund the police people uh, think. It's just that they're so, like, wedded to this, like, idea that, like, we have to tailor all of our messages to what reactionary right-wingers think. Right? Like, that's their, that's like their, it's like a mind virus, right? It's like a, a disease, right? It's like a cancer that eats away at your brain and how you, like, go into politics, right? Like, ev like there's, like, a default conservative reactionary and they feel like all of their political messaging needs to, like, cater to them in some way. And, like, it's strange. It really is fucking strange. Like, it's strange stuff. Defund the police is pretty fucking clear. If you don't understand defund the police, either you have a low IQ or you are not willing to understand it. You refuse to listen to someone explaining it to you. Because I refuse to believe, right, that there is a single person that both cares about the slogan, defund the police, and hasn't been informed as to what that means, right? So anyone still whinging about this is like, they're, they're just locked in like an internal reactionary conservative cycle that's taken some like, you know, it's like, it's like a war in their brain, right? And the reactionary conservatives have like taken a key city in their brain and they just won't let it go. Like they created a stronghold there. And it's strange fucking stuff. It really is bizarre, right? Like, I don't know how you can simultaneously say police brutality is a problem and defund the police is a bad slogan. You can't. You have to have some hypocrisy in some way, right? And so anyone that, like, that cares about defund the police and hasn't been educated on what it means, I don't think that that person exists, really. I really don't. And the Young Turks, like, their job is not to cry and whine and yell at activists. That's not their job. Their job, right, is to move people to the left in the grand scheme of things. That is their job. Their job is to be left-wing commentators to provide a balance in our extremely hyper right-wing world. That is their job, to be a left-winger. Like, again, I my job is not to yell at activists. Oh, how dare an activist say this thing that I slightly disagree with the phrasing on? That's not my job. That's not what I'm here for, right? So the reason why they're crying about defund and abolition is that it's a branding exercise. They want to, like, put room in between them and activists. They don't want to be perceived as being activists. They don't want to be perceived as supporting activists. And that's why they do that. Like, there's, like uh, if you ask either of them about the actual policy, they probably agree with, like, 80 to 90% of the actual policy platforms of defund and... Uh, police uh, or prison abolitionism, right? But they don't want to be perceived as activists. Defunded abolition movements are a huge help to the right wing. No, Saul, you're a fucking moron. This again, that is an in. You, know, you are captured by the right wing ideology. Like you might style yourself as a liberal or whatever, but you have to understand right wingers lie about everything all the time. Right wingers call Joe Biden a communist. Joe Biden is a communist and a fascist at the same time in the right wing mind. The idea that you would care at all. Oh, what if we do something that helps the right? The right's going to make shit up. If you don't help the right, they're just going to make shit up. So this idea that we need to all cater all of our political branding and messaging to like a 15 to 20 percent minority of fascists in the country. No, I'm sorry, you're old, you're dumb, your way of thinking is wrong, and it's been over. It's over. The 1980s called, they want their both sides back. The 1990s called, they want third way back. The 2000s called, they want unity back. Those are failed fucking strategies. Failed fucking strategies. The idea that we're gonna win Republicans on logic 
is a failed fucking strategy. I don't know how many times old boomer liberals need to try the same fucking thing over and over and over and over again. Republicans are not logical people. They are not. They do not like participate in a fair debate. So, and also police uh, defunding the police and ab abolishing prisons is the morally, factually, and politically, it's correct in every angle. It is the correct position morally, ethically. Like, if you want to talk about raw numbers budget-wise, it is the more correct reason for the budget. Every single possible aspect other than, oh, what's my right-wing uncle gonna think? Every other aspect, it is the correct position. Right, but again, you cannot sit here and tell me that Republicans, oh, we just slightly tailor our message a little bit better, Republicans are on board? Because if so, I'm waiting. The boomer libs, Saul, your generation, you had your chance to, like, to get Republicans on your side through facts and logic. It didn't fucking work. It didn't work. I'm sorry, you failed. Your brand of politics has failed utterly and completely so i'm not trying to be like too rude to a single person here and you know i i say this because i want to push people to my my position i'm not trying to cancel anybody but like you know i still appreciate jenk and anna on, on many other levels they're just really wrong on this you cannot and then jenk is also the thing about jenk that's super weird is because he styles himself as well of attacking republican voters and saying there's no way you can appease them in one breath and then the next breath he's like oh we can't say defund because the right wing won't be appeased it's like what what you know what i mean like what like i'm sorry i don't give a fuck what republicans say i don't give a fuck i don't care republicans and what they think of my political agenda are irrelevant irrelevant that's it i really like zero percent not one percent not two not three right they're zero percent part of my political calculations. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what Republicans think at all. And the job of the so-called biggest left-wing news show should not be to, you know, attack activists and their wording. It should be to move liberals to the left and create a unified front of left-wing and liberal uh, ideologies. Anybody that doesn't agree with the policy agenda of defund and police uh, uh, and prison abolition, they are just a bad person. Like, you can't tell me that the way our prison system works is okay unless you're just a bad person. You can't tell me that policing in this country is okay unless you're a bad person. Abolishing prisons is not an idiotic idea. Prisons do not work. They don't fucking work. Having prisons especially privately owned prisons is a bad fucking idea. That's idiotic. Prisons do not work. How can you say that the country that has like what 20 to 30% of the world's incarcerated population, right? While also maintaining that there's a crime wave, there's a crime wave. Prisons don't fucking work work they don't fucking work it is a failed system it failed decades ago centuries ago it doesn't fucking work now prison if you think prison abolition means that we're gonna let freaks and serial killers run around in society then you're a fucking moron you are a dumb motherfucker right a prison right is a failed system now, that doesn't mean you can have other ways of ridding people out of society in some way or another. But the way that prisons function utterly and 100% have failed. It has resulted in an increase of crime, increase, or rather inside and outside of the prison. So in society, crime is increased. And in prison, crime is increased, right? So I don't know what to tell you. It's a failed fucking system. It's a failed fucking system. Yeah, Norway's not perfect. It's, we don't live in a binary world. 
We don't live in a binary fucking world where either you have locked down fucking like US prisons where you can rape anyone you want and murder people in prison with impunity, right? And then learn how to become a master gangster and then escape prison and then become a massive criminal in the real world versus like a, a utopia. We haven't arrived at utopia. Saul, I know you are smarter than this. I know you are smarter than this, but you sound like a fucking Trumper right now. You and like the average Trump supporter sound identical. Nobody said to let everybody out. 0% of human beings on earth have ever said that, okay? Abolition means to abolish prisons. It doesn't mean to abolish all forms of societal control. If you think prisons and, and, and social safety are, are required to be involved with each other, I don't know if you know what a prison is. You keep telling me what the word abolish means. Do you know what the word prison is? What is the definition of prison? Okay. Looking it up on Google, a building in which people are legally held as punishment for a crime they have committed. Punishment for a crime. That is a prison. Punishment for a crime. It doesn't work. Punishing people for a crime does not fucking work. Beating your child when they disobey does not fucking work. Spanking your child when they disobey does not fucking work. Throwing people in jail to become victims of more crime, rape, and violence doesn't fucking work. It is a wrong and failed strategy, and we have... I don't know. Do you know anyone that's ever been to prison? Like, seriously. Do you know anybody that's ever been to prison? Nobody. Nobody goes to prison and comes out a normal, rational person uh, you know, that's a normal, stable member of society. Some people come out of prison and they, they gain something out of it or whatever. Most people come out of prison, they met a bunch of criminals, they joined a white supremacist gang or some other gang, right, for protection in prison because for whatever reason, prison security guards don't offer protection, right? So uh, because like crime is legal in prison, you need to join a gang, in order to gain protection in prison. And then after you're out of prison, you, you will often be linked to that gang forever, right? Crime rates increase, right? How do you, how does someone go to prison, come out, go commit another crime, go back to prison, come out, go commit another crime? Because prison doesn't fucking work. The death penalty doesn't fucking work. It is an uncivilized, savage concept. I know, I know, it feels good in your lizard brain to beat the shit out of your kid who won't eat their vegetables. I know it feels good in your lizard brain to throw someone in, a light, in, a, in an electric chair and murder them because they like beat the shit out of your kids or whatever. I know it feels good in the lizard brain. We are human beings. We have evolved. We have a society. Prison is a failed strategy. If you agree that hitting a kid doesn't work, then you should agree that punishment when it comes to prison doesn't work. Because it's the same logic. If you're opposed to the death penalty, you should be opposed to prisons. It's the same logic. The whole point of a prison should be a two-point system. One, rehabilitation. And two, keeping the rest of people in society safe. Prisons do neither of those things. Because the way we were uh, working in this country right now, crime goes up outside the prison. Crime goes up inside the prison. People come out of prison as hardened criminals. It doesn't work. It doesn't fucking work. So I need you to kill the conservative in your head. Because this shit is embarrassing. I don't know what Republican family member made you this way, but they have done some serious damage to your psyche. And the same goes for Jenk and Anna on their stupid fucking cringe campaign. Like, you sound like fucking Joe Biden's crime bill ass shit right now. Oh, the super predators need to be going off the streets. Didn't we do try that 30 fucking years ago? Didn't we did this big crime bill in this country 30 fucking years ago? And yet, it's worse? Huh. It's almost like the system doesn't fucking work. I don't give a fuck what your stupid reactionary dumb fuck uncle thinks. 
They're my political enemy. I don't know. I don't know what to say. And I don't give a fuck what normies think. My job is to convince normies by facts and logic to be more empathetic, sympathetic, and rational. That's my job. My job is not to look at people to the left of me, which there aren't any because I'm magnetically attracted to the left, and yell at people on my own side. That's not my fucking job. My job is to bring as many people as possible to the left, not to prevent, like build up a wall around the left and say you cannot pass this wall. That's not my job. Crime has gone up because of prisons. People go to prison as maybe soft criminals. They come out as hardened gangsters. I don't know what to fucking tell you. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's a failed system. And if you support a failed system... And again, not only that. Oh, I'm comparing you to Ben Burgess because Ben Burgess said the same thing you just said, Saul. So that's two, two times in one week that you've been Burgess in my chat. But again, like punishment doesn't work. Punishment does not work. I was beaten as a kid and guess what? It didn't fucking work. It just made me hate my parents, specifically my mom, right? And it made me like have a lot of copious amounts of mental health issues, right? I know a lot of people. That have been beaten as kids. Doesn't make them any better. Right? So, I don't know, man. Now, again, prison abolition is not let people kill people for fun in the street. That's not what that means. And if you think that's what it means, you're purposefully misunderstanding it. Because there's some, like, disease in your brain or something. That's, like, preventing you from using your logical, rational, like, cognitive portion of your brain. Like, there's some, some reactionary that's, like planted a flag like the fucking American flag on the moon or something. Ben Bourgeois. Oh, God. But yeah, punishment doesn't work. Rehabilitation. Now, there are some people, yes, that can't be rehabilitated. That doesn't mean they should be tortured and flayed. Like, the, like in fucking, you know, thrown into chains. You know, throw them in a room somewhere. Give them a couple books, give them a PlayStation, and get them the fuck out of my society. That's fine. But guess what? The population of human beings that are truly impossible to rehabilitate, in my opinion, is disastrously low. I don't know why disastrously was the adjective I chose, but it is an extremely low percentage of the population that is just 1,000% beyond any help whatsoever. Anyway, so with that being said, feel free to clip that if you want, but... <laughs>